Question, how often should I breathe hydrogen? What's up all my extra minute peeps? Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. Uh, we really appreciate you guys doing this. This allows me to continue to give these quick answers for you, uh, for your questions. Uh, it was actually a pretty close call. I thought it was gonna be uh, chronic fatigue syndrome that I was gonna be answering a question with, but it edged it out just by one. This question edged it out. So let's go ahead and dive into the question. So the question is, how often should I breathe hydrogen? So to begin, to frame this question, I'm gonna put some parameters around it so I can answer it correctly. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that there is no um, established consensus based on the research for dosing with hydrogen inhal inhalation regarding its disease models or for general health. And I think that's a, um, a thing that needs to be understood before we actually answer this question. Now, based on the studies, we do have a suggested dose of how much we should be inhaling based on what we see in the literature. And this has been popularized recently by individuals like myself and other researchers and colleagues that I work with in this space. And so what we see in the studies right now for humans is that um, humans breathe or receive therapeutic benefits of hydrogen gas by breathing it by for one to three hours per day. Um, that is what's basically the general inhalation session time across a broad spectrum of hydrogen studies for hydrogen inhalation. And uh, this is generally what is done on a daily basis <clears throat> or a repeated bout or daily basis. Um, what you do see on some of the extreme sides are lower sessions such as like 30 minutes to one hour for one day, which uh, has some mixed data there uh, that doesn't seem like it's very therapeutic. And then we do have some extremes which are uh, normally seen with um, pathologies that are higher in severity. So things such as cancer uh, or post-cardiac arrest syndrome or uh, SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. Uh, these uh, particular disease models have the longest inhal inhalation session times, anywhere from eight all the way up to 22 hours in a day. And so, um, so based on... Uh, that type of information, we can actually come out with an answer for how much we probably should be breathing per day or what we should aim for. So with that information, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my opinion on how much you should probably breathe hydrogen gas per day. All right. So uh, with the information I've already shared in mind, I generally tell people when it comes to hydrogen inhalation, if you are a person who is generally healthy, um, that you can go ahead and breathe hydrogen gas uh, between two to four hours per day and you can break those sessions up. And so you can normally do one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening, or you could do one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, and one hour in the evening, or you could do a two hour session all at once. The most important part is making sure you give yourself space. Um, several hours between hydrogen inhalation session times to allow the hydrogen to actually leave your body fully so you can get back down to your basal level of hydrogen in your body. Um, before you reintroduce hydrogen gas again to your body. Um, this is repeated bouts, and this seems to be very therapeutic based on the studies. And this is normally what I suggest to people, um, by and large, uh, whether it's um, the average person just wanting to know or whether it's a person who's actually dealing with the disease model. I normally suggest them to the studies and tell them this is my opinion of where uh, they probably should aim for. So I suggest around two to four hours per day, um, and making sure your inhalation sessions are break, broken up. And then you won't have to worry too much about basically inhibition of hydrogen's therapeutic effects on your body or anything like that. Uh, we need more research for that as well. But this is my answer for how much you probably should breathe hydrogen gas each day. Okay, so I provided all my sources in the description that substantiates everything that I was saying in this video. So you can find them all there. Once again, thank you so much for voting on this month's Q&A poll. I really enjoy doing these for you and just giving you quick answers uh, to, to your questions. Please follow us on all of our social media platforms. Uh, you can find them here on the screen somewhere. And then uh, also, if you are watching this video before no November 19th, 2021, uh, we are doing a giveaway. And so go uh, to the giveaway video if you have not already viewed it. 
uh, and get all the information to make sure you can enter into this giveaway because we actually give away two hydrogen products. And so please do that if you're watching this video before November 19th, 2021. Other than that, I'll catch you next month uh, to, to answer your next question. Deuces. <laughs>